Hello everybody and welcome to DimeBot's Daily News. I am DimeBot. We've got a few interesting stories today. First up, we will start with the announcement of the Nintendo 2DS. This one took me by surprise. Essentially a non-folding 3DS XL, same size, minus the 3D viewing options. This is something that Nintendo is aiming at younger consumers, saying that the 3DS is aimed at those ages 7 and up. Now, the idea behind this is they want to give access to their great library of games like Animal Crossing and Mario Kart, but without the 3D. It also has a lower entry price, being a $129.99 system, and, well, yeah, it's 2D. Uh, it's going to come with a 4GB SD card. It does still have two cameras, so it can take advantage of the AR games and take 3D pictures. They just cannot be displayed on the 2DS. It also has a single speaker for mono sound, and you can get stereo if you plug in a set of headphones. It's to release on October 12th. I think this is kind of an interesting move by Nintendo, but more on that in just a second. And that is our second story coming up today, which is that Google Play games have now outsold the handhelds. In revenue tracking released for the second quarter of 2013 by App Annie, it appears that Google Play is now in second place for mobile gaming behind iOS. The two combined have now sold four times as many games as the 3DS and Vita. And it's interesting to note that this does not include ad-generated revenue from those games, but it does factor in packaged and digital sales for the handhelds, meaning that your cartridges slash Sony, whatever the Vita uses, and digital downloads are included in these figures. So, that's a changing dynamic in the handheld market. It'll be interesting to see where it goes from there. Which do you prefer, your phone or your PS Vita or 3DS? Let me know in the comments. And lastly today, one of my favorite games of last year, Borderlands 2 is finally getting a Game of the Year edition. It has been confirmed, it is $59.99, and it includes $100 worth of content. For that price, you will be getting the main game and all four campaign add-ons. That would be Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty, Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage, Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt, and the most recent, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, as well as the two downloadable classes, Gage the Mechromancer and Krieg the Psycho. It's also going to come with Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode, which is the raising of the level cap to 61, the Creature Slaughter Dome, the Gearbox Gun Pack, the Vault Hunter's Relic, and a Golden Key. Now, some of this stuff is things that were packed in when you first bought the game new when it came out, so it only makes sense that they would include it, but given the popularity of Borderlands 2 and Gearbox's continued support, it only makes sense that we're going to be getting a Game of the Year edition of it. And for the price, if you haven't picked up a copy of Borderlands 2, I don't see why you wouldn't do so now. So, good things coming on the consoles and the PC, and it would appear that the mobile game market is about to undergo some rather weird changes. That is your DimeBot Gaming News for today, August 28th, 2013. I'm DimeBot. See you next time.